actually this is uh, a mistake here oh what i forgot is that uh, the old post in this case is what we are reading from the database so my post at this point is the old post this should be the new post so sorry about that this is uh, my bad here so let me change all these references to new okay so the new post text is here so if that exists then it means we are inside the edit version because when we are not in the edit version uh, we will not pass any parameter here it will just be the post id so if this new post has some text then it means we have to go through here normally we just tag whoever is in there but then new post so here what we want to do is get the tags from the new post text like so so new tags new post and then we are going to check in array if the tagged user tag name the current user we are going through here uh, <clears throat> also exists in the new tags here okay so that's the thing so if the the user from because this tagged user is coming from the old tag one of the old uh in the old post so tagged user is inside the old one so if it's also there in new tags then we should not do anything so that's why there's a not there if it's not in the new tags this is actually a little bit confusing now okay i think i've uh, messed things up a little bit here because you know you've messed things up when you start getting confused all right so let's recap here a little bit and edit a few things so let me be more specific with the namings here so here i will put text like that so new post text so that it's very explicit what we mean here so let me copy this and come back here so at this point we are reading from the database now keep in mind that this is happening uh, in the edit it's happening before we save the new post so this is we are reading the old post here so once we get this value here this is the old post so at this point i think let me put an if statement here and let's say if new post text is not empty like that okay so right here let's do some magic so what i want to do here is um okay wait a minute for each tags and tag okay so at this point we've already read from the database so we have our post here now the one thing i want us to do is create a variable called old post so we're going to say old post is equal to my post so we've assigned because we know this my post is the old one that is in the database so we are assigning it to old post that way now we can override it and then i'm i'm going to say my post post so i want to uh, replace the text with this text right there so is equal to boom there we go so what i've essentially done is replaced the old post with new text but i still have a copy of exactly the old post there so which is good so that now the reason i've done this is so that inside my post here when i get the tags i'm getting the very old ones uh, i'm getting the new ones sorry the ones that have been updated so at this point these tags are the updates now i'm assuming the updates um are more than the the old ones so that way when we loop through this the, the problem that was there before i added this part is that if for example you since we were looping through the the old tags let's say i add new tags then they'll never go through this loop because this was looping through the old content so at this point because I've assigned it some new text it means when I get the tag the tags 
they're coming from the new text which if it has more tags than before then every one of them will get looped through but if it has less tags then we don't need uh, any all of them to be looped through because we, we don't need to notify the people that have been removed from the tags anyway so this is a better approach so for each tags these are the new tags and then we go through here but then we will get to this point here i have changed this one to text so i will update as needed yeah uh, this one here so now what i want to do is get the items that i will compare with here so these are the new tags now inside the tags there so if this is not empty so let's go through here because if if things are normal it will just go to this one so let's go here instead now instead of getting the new tags here because i already have the new tags in there in tags so i will say old tags here so the old tags will be inside the old post which i will put here old tags post like that so the old post still exists so we get the old tags and then let's check if these new tags are part of the old ones and then we ignore them so if in array uh, tagged user tag name right which is the new user right now the one part of the new people that have been tagged if they're inside the old tags if they are not inside the old tags then tag them okay so let's see if this is actually working to know if it's working let's go to notifications and let's see how many records we have we have up to record 21 so i just want to edit this and let me edit and i'll just save as it is with mary there no changes just hit save okay so i want to see if mary got a notification and mary did get a notification of a tag so something is wrong here so i think the problem here is uh, right there this is the issue here so this is why it was a good idea as you can see tagged has a zero at the end there so i didn't put one here so it can't find this variable right there so to avoid having to put this zero everywhere, I should have added it here already. I should have done this is equal to that, like so. Let me put some space here. So let me remove this zero there. So tagged username is equal to that so that we get the very first result here. So let me see where everywhere I used it here, tagged user, tagged user. So let me remove that zero here and that zero there. Okay. So I think we should have um, the right result now if I edit and hit save. Okay, so we were at number 23, was it? Okay, so we are still at 23. So 23 there, let's try one more time. Edit and then save, refresh. Okay, so we're still at 23, so we're not getting any new stuff. But let's put John here. Let's say at John. Save. Okay, so John has been recognized as well. So when I come back here, I will see there's one more tag there. If I edit and save, let's see if there's any more tags here. Nope, it's still at 24. And let me edit and let's remove John here and see what happens. Save. Do we get a new notification? No, we do not. And then if we add John again, let's add John again. If we decide to add him later. Now, since he already exists in there, I don't know if he does actually, since we are replacing the data. Okay, so now he gets a notification. Okay, so if he was untagged and then tagged again, he will get a notification. So I, th I think this is fine. 
so so far so good people have been tagged let's log in as john and let's just see uh if he will get any notification here so let's go there tagged you in a post so click and there we go so john is tagged there awesomeness so so far we have we are we are done with the tagging thing the only thing re uh, remaining is when signing up we have to auto generate this tag name there in the users table i'll see you in the next video where we do that